pastors, preachers, Christians everywhere. Let's talk about a short history of preaching and why it needs to change because culture has changed so much. The Bible says, 2 Timothy 4, 2, Paul writes, preach the word of God. Be prepared, he says to Timothy, whether the time is favorable or not. Patiently correct, rebuke, encourage your people with good teaching. So preaching has always been important in the church, in every age, in every generation. Preaching is important. So let's take a look at four main uh, sort of eras for preaching. First of all, in the early church, the truth was revealed. So Jesus, he shares the truth. This brand new message gets out there. Peter and Paul and the early disciples and Stephen, and they're beginning to preach God's word. It's very important at this time, obviously, because it's a brand new message, but also because there's very little information otherwise. Uh, they don't have internet. They don't even really have access to their own Bibles. So preaching is important in the early church. The truth was revealed. And then in the dark ages, of course, the truth is sort of hidden. The institutional church comes in. And now hardly anybody knows the truth. And, and really, in, in many cases, it seems like priests and the church kind of kind of kept the truth for their own purposes. They kept it from the people. And a lot of Bad things happened in the dark ages because of that. But thank God for the Reformation. And that was when truth is rediscovered and the reformers come out and and with the Gutenberg Press. And now everybody has access to the Bible. And so the Bible gets translated into other languages. And now information, God's truth begins to really reach the masses. And we know what happened there. Now God did a great work through the Reformation and thank God for that. And then that leads to today, which is the info age, the information age. And really, this is where everyone is a preacher. And I'm not talking about preaching biblical truth. I'm just saying YouTube and social media and everything. Like, you don't need a printing press anymore to get your ideas and opinions out there. The problem is just that. It's your opinion. It's not necessarily the truth. So even though information abounds, truth is is getting hidden more and more, even in the information age. And Paul warned about this in 2 Timothy 4, back to that verse in verse 3 through 4, it says, For time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look, look for teachers who will tell them whatever their itching ears want to hear. They will reject the truth and chase after myths. And this is what's happening because of the information age. And this is why... Preaching needs to change, and here's the big idea then. Preachers today must equip people to share the truth, not just to listen to it. Because preachers, if all you're doing is preaching a sermon every week, that's not going to cut it anymore. Certainly, they're going to get so much more information. Everyone's a preacher, and the news, and the media, and their friends, and everyone's got an opinion. And so this is why you need to not just tell people your opinion from the pulpit You have to help them own it as their own opinion, which means you have to help them share it and talk about it and discuss it and become a mentor and not just sit back and be a consumer or a taker, but rather to go out and to share a biblical worldview in a world filled with secular worldviews. So there's a short history of preaching and why it needs to change. Now use the resources below this video to talk about it with the people in your world, with your mentor or with your small group.